In this video, I'm going to talk about how to build wealth with income generating assets that also have lots of other benefits. Hi, I'm Camille Gaines here and on my website, retiresurgeon.com, I write about and talk about my investing adventures over the past 40 years or so since I bought my very first Fidelity Mutual Fund as well as creating multiple income streams that are both traditional and alternative over the past 15 years or so along with my husband. In this video, I want to share with you a sort of a follow-up to a recent video I did on triple wealth builders. Immediately after doing that video, I realized that it's not just about triple wealth builders. We can talk about four, five, six, I guess four would be quadruple, five, I'm not sure what that is, or six, seven, eight, nine, ten time wealth builders. And what I mean by that is it's using the same assets and energy to create various wealth benefits, whether that's income streams or more money with the same amount of time and energy. All right, so let me dig in. If you like this kind of information, you find it helpful, make sure you click the subscribe button and click that little bell so that you get notified when I do new videos. <laughs> okay, so in this video, yeah, I'm gonna dig into these wealth builders that I have come to grow very fond of over the years. Now, you've heard me say here, we stumbled into early retirement and we started experimenting with income generating assets because at the time we wanted to generate income to replace employment income, right? So we started looking at income generating assets. Well, before we knew it, a few years had gone by and those income generating assets had increased in value. And so then that meant that we had used that same capital and time and energy, and we had two benefits from that same endeavor, right? That same asset or investment or pursuit. And then we realized, well, gosh, we also have tax benefits from this same asset with no more energy or time. And if you have tax benefits at the end of the day, you get to keep more money to compound and grow. And so we realized that these were triple wealth builders. I gave them a name, triple wealth builders. And then I realized though, after doing this video on this, there's so many more ways to add benefits to this particular example. Now, if you wanna go check out that other video, please do, I give several examples of triple wealth builders, such as cover calls and online business. Uh, um, the cover calls are on dividend stocks. But in this video, I want to stay focused on the real estate example just because I know it well uh, and it, there are a lot of advantages to real estate. Now, a lot of what I talk about here is my ETF portfolio and other investments, but I'm not married to any one type of investment. I like a well-diversified portfolio. So that leads me to the benefits that are involved in this triple wealth builder. So we've got the income that's coming in and then we've got the increase in value that's coming in. Now, then we also had, I touched on the tax benefit from the rental real estate properties. And then the next benefit I wanna mention is a lowering of risk. But we don't just have one kind of lowering of risk, we have several kinds of lowering of risk. Let me tell you what those are. So we have money in paper assets, stocks and bonds and that type of thing. So I really appreciate that real estate is not a paper asset. It's something I can touch and feel it's standing there and it is diversified from cybersecurity, really, and it's diversified from paper assets in that it is a completely different kind of asset. So that's the first type of diversification. The next type, and, the, and diversification lowers risk, okay? The next type of risk reduction comes from having an asset that is not necessarily correlated with stocks and or bonds or other things that we might own. So that's the next type of risk reduction, okay? So n right now, We've talked about income, increase in value, tax strategies. We've talked about non-correlated to stocks and bonds. We've talked about a different type of asset, so that lowers risk. So at this point, we've got five different benefits to this one investment, okay? Then the next benefit 
is yet more risk reduction, and that comes from protection from inflation. Real estate is an inflation hedge because the value of the property increases along with inflation. All right, and then we've got one more. So that's six benefits from one asset, capital, time, energy, and all that. Then we've got one more type of risk reduction, and that comes from financial crisis risk reduction. That's because when there's a financial crisis, more people rent than buy because people are afraid to buy and they don't have enough money to buy homes. So then they look to rent homes. So now we're up to, I believe that's seven benefits to this one asset. Okay. I'm going to keep going. You can also leverage. Okay. So we were able to leverage our capital because we did financing, a partial financing on this property. So we were able to use that leverage. So that was another benefit. All right. So now we're up to eight benefits. Now we've got another benefit and that's that we were able to leverage our team because we have multiple rental doors and the same person could handle that same leasing agent that I need to deal with the same handyman, the same plumber, the same repair people that help us manage all of this same CPA to do the accounting for it. So we were able to leverage our team. I've sort of lost count. I think I'm up to nine benefits now though. All right, then there's another one. We were able to leverage our skills. So since we did this and I actually bought a rental property, well, I bought my first home when I was in my mid twenties and it ended up being a rental property a few years later, but I've had experience with rental properties and actually used to be a commercial real estate broker. But having said that, I had some experience with real estate. So I was able to leverage that experience and that skill. And with these rental properties, we bought in after we stumbled into early retirement, several more doors. So we leveraged those skills to generate four times the income that we would have gotten if we had just had one door that was paying us rent every month. So now I think I'm up to nine benefits from that one asset, purchasing that one thing that provides all these different benefits in the form of risk reduction, tax savings, income, wealth generation, leverage, time. And when we compare something like this to simply buying a stock that is extremely capital intensive and pays very low income if we're going for dividend stocks, we can see that there's a really, really big difference with that as far as potential. Now, of course, dividends do have tax or well, lower tax rate for American citizens. And a lot of dividend stocks are held in retirement accounts, but then that makes it a little tricky to get that income out. So, you know, you can see there's a big difference here. So I guess where I'm going with this is think differently. Instead of thinking about just stocks and bonds, as far as your investments in your portfolio, think bigger, think beyond that. Think, how can I build wealth? Because the Sarah Blakely's of the world, the Richard Branson's of the world, they didn't get that way. The Dave Ramsey's of the world didn't get that way by investing passively in a stock and bond asset allocation based model. They didn't. They got that way by doing something different. And the things that they did have many, many of these same types of benefits. Not only are they triple, quadruple wealth builders, they're many, many times that over. Remember, retire certain.